Hello Daisy. today is Friday, September 23rd. I'm Big Winter and your school news starts now. Every student of Sia Daisy is now expected to join at least one club this year. If you haven't joined the club off the Google form that your first period teacher gave you, sorry, but the school will have to pick it for you. You are now required to have at least one club this year, so good luck and have fun. Chattanooga State has announced a new partnership with CHI Memorial Hospital for a new apprenticeship program. The medical assistance apprenticeship is the first white collar occupation the school has offered. The one year program includes paid full time employment at CHI's Chattanooga area clinics classes in the evening and online and on-the-job learning to prepare students for a career with the hospital network. Certification at the end of the program will be recognized in all 50 states. Medical assistants are one of the fastest growing occupations in the healthcare field today. Election Day is nearly upon us. Are you registered to vote? The fourth Tuesday of September is National Voter Registration Day. The National Association of Secretaries of State started the event in 2012. It's a coordinated effort from local, state, and national organizations to urge people to register to vote. Hundreds of thousands of people take part each year. You can register for voting in Tennessee online. Check out GoTN.org for more information. Now we have info on Rachel's Challenge Movement coming to our school this Monday. Just catch your thoughts if you have an emergency. Yes, I have a teacher at Columbine High School. There is a student here with a gun. Okay, has anybody been injured? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the school is in a panic, and I'm in the library. I've got students down under the table, kids. Heads under the table. On the floor, you better stay on the floor. Oh, God. Stay on the line of the floor. The gun is right outside the library door. I was at a shopping mall and my wife called on my cell phone and said that there had been a shooting at the school. That up to 30 kids had been shot and many of them had been killed. And I almost went into shock. And I started doing the math in my head. I remember that. I thought, 1,800 kids, I have two children, my brother has two children there. What are the odds? I remember running out when the buses started coming up with students and they brought them over to the elementary school where we were and just looking in those windows hoping to catch a glimpse of Rachel. And I balanced on top of a fence and uh, I remember thinking maybe she's on the next bus, you know, and when the final student walked off the final bus, that's when I think I really lost hope. I think the reality though of what was happening didn't sink in for me though until my brother Craig came home because when he walked through the door, he had blood on his clothes. We were asking him what happened, what's going on, and all he kept saying was, it's really bad, you guys. My family was shocked to see me because I had blood all over my clothes. And we were all watching the news and we were waiting to hear from Rachel. We ended up waiting all night she didn't call. The next morning we got a phone call from uh, the police department and they told us that Rachel was the first one that was killed. My mom came down to tell me the news. I do remember feeling irritated that birds were singing. I mean, it's the weird things that your emotions do with you. And you know, I thought, you can't be singing, my daughter's gone. The grief that followed, like, it wasn't that Rachel died so much that bothered me as much as how she died. You know, my sweet little sister who loved people and life. In the following weeks, the police discovered Rachel's backpack, at the bottom of which was her diary filled with positivity, wisdom, and statements that were sometimes even prophetic. How do you know that trust, compassion, and beauty will not make this world a better place to be in and this life a better one to live? You just may start a chain reaction. And start a chain reaction she did by inspiring her family to start Rachel's Challenge, 
a nonprofit organization that reaches up to schools and kids everywhere to make the world a better place with love and not hate. I can't hate them. They win if I hate them. Shots in the building. They win if I don't forget. Rachel's challenge will be coming this week to Saudi Daisy, providing lessons and additional training, optional for those who want to do more. Over the last uh, two years, we've seen over 500 suicides prevented that we know of. We've seen over seven school shootings prevented that we know of. Students attending the meeting will be separated by grade, with sophomores and juniors going together. Each will last an hour long, starting with freshmen at 7.30, sophomores and juniors at 8.45, and seniors at around 10 o'clock. After lunch, there will be a special training for students who are interested and want to make a difference. Hurricane Fiona continues moving north into the Atlantic, leaving behind heavy damage in its wake. Recovery efforts are now underway in the Turks and... I used to know how to say that. It's the Kaikos or the Sais... or the Kaisos. Huh, I'm actually going to look up how to say that. Give me a sec. I gotta look up how to say that. I think it's Keiko. Recovery efforts are now underway in the Turks and the Keiko Islands. That's after Hurricane Fiona moved through the region this week. Authorities there on Wednesday evening were thankful that no lives were lost on the islands during the hurricane, though there were reports of damage at the Grand Turk Airport and other locations. The storm is expected to pass west of Bermuda on Friday and continue north towards Canada. Good morning, Saudi Daisy. I'm here to bring you the latest on sports. The volleyball and women's soccer regular seasons are coming to a close. Last week, our Raiders competed at East Hamilton and won second place in LRE and third place in Hurricane Hill. Tomorrow, they compete again at Warren County. Our marching Trojans also compete tomorrow at Bradley Central against other bands in the area. Last Friday, our Trojans beat Sequoia on homecoming night. Let's see if this win will give the momentum as they go on the road against Tyner tonight. Can we break Tyner's 5-0 record? Come out and support our Trojans. Now, for entertainment with me again. September is drawing to a close, which means it's almost everyone's favorite month. Speaking of which, the Sanderson sisters return for Hocus Pocus 2 on September 30th. Three young women mistakenly bring back the witches to modern day Salem and must stop them before they wreak havoc on the world. In video game news, God of War Ragnarok is announced, and more gameplay footage has been released. Now, back to Chris. Well, Saturday Daisy, we've enjoyed another fun-filled week with many great stories. We'll, we'll catch you next time, Saturday Daisy. This is Big Winter, signing off. Michael. It is Caicos. 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 Caicos.